It's been a year since police chief Scott Booth came to Roanoke. Today, he reflected on his time in the Star City and shared what comes next for the police department. WFXR's Rianne Lowndes has more. Chief Scott Booth celebrating one year with the Roanoke Police Department and some success along the way. RPD is reporting a 65% drop in fatal shootings since last year. Your team has to be high functioning if you want to have an impact. Booth was born in Roanoke and as he puts it, it took him 50 years to find his way back working in both Richmond and then in Danville. Roanoke is bigger. It's a little bit more complex. The chief says the falling gun violence is down to the community as a whole. So good policing absolutely is a big part of that. A community coming together is another part of that. Other things that we had in place that I think are starting to really show, you know, the benefits, things like the Gun Violence Prevention Commission, things that we've been building out for a number of years here in Roanoke. But he's also made changes at the department, putting standards in place he says were missing when he first arrived. The things we're doing, once again, responding to initial incidents with enough resources, making sure we're effectively using ballistics imaging, like ballistics IQ and NIBIN at the scene of a shooting, whether it's a homicide or a non-fatal. Those are things that, that work, right? Those are standards in the industry that we weren't doing here that we needed to do. So what's next for Roanoke Police Department? Well, Chief Booth says officers are currently being trained on a de-escalation model that he hopes can reduce use of force incidents. That's going to continue through 2025 along with expanding their taser program. In Roanoke, Rand Lowndes, WFXR News.